University leaders say they are coordinating with Philadelphia police to ensure the safety of their community and campus. Pro-Palestinian protesters remained on Drexel University's campus in Philadelphia on Monday, despite calls from school leaders to disband. Barricades surrounded the new encampment while police watched along the outskirts, keeping a close eye on the demonstrators. Roughly 40 to 60 protesters took up camp at Corman Quad on Drexel's campus just after 7 p.m. Saturday. It happened after hundreds of people gathered at City Hall as part of the Philly-Palestine Coalition's Nakba Day March to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. Protesters are currently asking Drexel to divest from any companies or partnerships negatively impacting Palestinians, to publicly support a ceasefire, to redistribute its financial profits to support the Palestinian economy and rebuild Gaza, and to disclose its investments. They are also asking that Drexel defend advocacy for Palestine and abolish its police department, according to a post on social media. The quad where demonstrators have set up camp was built in part thanks to an $8 million gift from the Hyman Corman Family Foundation. Corman, the Philadelphia builder, was Jewish and an online search shows the foundation originally gave to many Jewish causes. It has since expanded to a wide variety of philanthropic efforts. Students who spoke with Action News on Sunday said things seemed calm at the school, despite the group that has dubbed itself the Gaza Solidarity Encampment. Tensions rose on Saturday night, however, as officials set up barricades and protesters tried to break them apart. Police and tactical gear made a brief appearance to maintain order. Several students and alumni stopped by the encampment Sunday to see what was happening on campus, which went on lockdown shortly after the demonstrators arrived. Drexel's president released a statement on Sunday, calling for the encampment to end. President John Fry stated in part, This encampment must end. I want to remind Drexel students who are participating in this protest that they could face disciplinary action for violating our student code of conduct. Encampment participants who are unaffiliated with Drexel are unlawfully trespassing. Some say they agree with the president, not wanting the protesters to make students feel unwelcome on campus. Protesters within the encampment have so far declined interviews with the media, telling others not to speak out as well. As the campus remains on lockdown, officials warn that no one can enter a school building without a Drexel ID. Officials also announced that classes would be virtual on Monday. Students told Action News they're conflicted over the protest taking place, especially as it impacts their day-to-day -day routines. University leaders say they are coordinating with Philadelphia police to ensure the safety of their community and campus. Read President John Fry's full statement below. I am writing to update you with further details regarding the pro-Palestinian encampment that was set up on Corman Quad last evening. As of now, about 40 to 60 individuals are participating in this encampment without the university's permission or authorization. As we shared in last night's message, to minimize the possibility of further disruptions, including attempts by protesters to occupy our learning and working spaces, we have placed our buildings and facilities on lockdown, with access provided only to those with clearance from Drexel Public Safety. So far, non-Drexel affiliates attempting to enter our buildings have been turned away without incident. While protest encampments such as this one are not legally protected, we had hoped last night that this demonstration would remain peaceful and respectful of others. Regrettably, that is not the case here. This demonstration already has proved intolerably disruptive to normal university operations and has raised serious concerns about the conduct of some participants, including distressing reports and images of protesters subjecting passers-by to anti-Semitic speech, signs, and chants. These kinds of hateful and intimidating acts must be condemned, and they cannot and will not be tolerated. Moreover, it has become increasingly apparent that most of the encampment participants are outside individuals who are unaffiliated with Drexel. Those who wish to report incidents or share their concerns are encouraged to contact our Office of Institutional Equity and Inclusive Culture EIC. More information on how to contact EIC and report an incident is available at this link. Drexel will not allow anyone or any activity to sabotage our teaching and research activities or contribute to a hostile environment that leaves any member of our community feeling threatened, harassed, or intimidated. We are therefore coordinating with local officials and the Philadelphia Police Department to ensure the safety of our community and the continued operations of our academic and research endeavors. We have opened a line of communication to the protesters and will try to prevail on them to cease and desist from their unauthorized demonstration. 
To be clear, however, this encampment must end. I want to remind Drexel students who are participating in this protest that they could face disciplinary action for violating our student code of conduct. Encampment participants who are unaffiliated with Drexel are unlawfully trespassing, ensuring everyone's safety and freedom from threats, harassment, or intimidation, and preventing damage to our buildings and campus spaces are my top priorities. That is why we will maintain the lockdown on buildings and facilities on our University City campus and move to remote learning and virtual operations for all non-essential personnel for tomorrow. Anyone with questions about working remotely should contact their supervisor. Researchers engaged in critical activity that requires in-person work will be allowed access to campus with approval from their dean or division head. A separate communication why?